Hello everyone, in today's lecture I am going to solve a regional mathematical Olympiad problem which was asked in the year 2000. The question is we have to find the positive integers x and y for which they are satisfying this given equation that is y cube is equal to x cube plus 8x square minus 6x plus 8. Now I am going to show you how to solve this question within 2 minutes in the next slides. So let's start. Now the first thing which I am going to do here is on the right side I am going to make a perfect cube because x cube is here. Now the reason I am going to tell you later on. So let's make x plus 1 whole cube here. So I'm making x plus 1 whole cube and I'm going to write the remaining part that is 8x square minus 6x plus 8 as it is. Now I'm going to write the remaining part which will get by opening x plus 1 whole cube. That means that part I need to subtract. So that part clearly I can see that x cube is already here so there is no need to subtract x cube. Remaining part I'm going to subtract that is minus 3x square minus 3x and minus 1. So this part will get into x plus 1 whole cube. Now I am going to write the remaining that is y cube is minus I am going to take this cube on the other side that is x plus 1 whole cube is equal to remaining is 5x square minus 9x plus 8. Now if you notice one thing on the right hand side this e quadratic equation the coefficient of x square is greater than 0 that we denote with usually with small a and here if you calculate the discriminant, the discriminant will be b square minus 4ac. I think discriminant is less than 0 here. So when a is greater than 0, d is less than 0. That means this is always positive. If right hand side value is always positive, that means left hand side should be positive. That means from here I can see that y cube should be greater than x plus 1 whole cube. In this way this can be positive here. So from here x and y are positive, I can see that y will be greater than x plus 1. So let's say this is our first equation. Now for second equation again, I am going to make a perfect cube here. Now again I am going to write this as y cube is equal to, now this time I am going to make x plus 3 whole cube. Again I am going to tell you the reason later on, x plus 3 whole cube. And rest as it is here, 8x square minus 6x plus 8 as it is. Now, after opening x plus 3 whole cube will get x cube that I'm not going to subtract but the remaining part I need to subtract. So that now the remaining part is minus 9x square minus 27x minus 27. Now this time I'm going to take y cube on the other side and x plus 3 whole cube remains on this side. So we'll get this as x plus 3 whole cube minus y cube is equal to the remaining is x square plus 33x and this will be plus 19 here. Now since they are asking positive x and positive y as it mentioned in the question they are asking positive integers. So for x greater than 0 this value will be always positive. That means right hand side value should be also positive. That means I can see that x plus whole cube should be greater than y cube or I can say y cube is less than x plus 1 whole cube. That means y should be less than x plus 3. So let's say our, this is our second equation. Now I'm going to show you the conclusion from first and second. And I'm going to tell you why I've taken the cubes in the next slide. Now first equation says that y is greater than x plus 1. And second says that y is less than x plus 3. Since we are finding integer solution that to positive, I can say that y will be equal to x plus 2 here. Since y is equal to x plus 2 is the solution here, I'm going to plug this in the given equation. So if I plug y is equal to x plus 2, in the given equation, let's see what solutions we are getting here. So I'm going to solve this equation. So let's open this, we'll get this as x cube plus, we'll get this as 6x square plus 12x and then plus 8 is equal to x cube plus 8x square minus 6x plus 8. Now I'm going to simplify and the most satisfying part is x cube and x cube will cancel out. This will make it easy and 8 and 8 will cancel out. This will make it more easy. So we got in the end we got a final quadratic equation that is 2x square and on the other side if I take 12x on the other side I'll get this as minus 18x is equal to 0. So if I solve this if I take 2 common I'll get this as if I take 2x common I'll get this as x minus 9 is equal to 0. So from here I can see x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 9 are the only solution that to positive integer and for x is equal to 0 we'll get y is equal to 2 and for x is equal to 9 we'll get y is equal to 11 here. So this is our final set for positive integer solution 
and that'll be all.